the Nike Metcon Sport is the newest and cheapest member of the Metcon family. So let's see if this shoe is a deserving member of the family or if it's that weird uncle that you don't really talk to that much that lives in the basement. <laughs> All right, you guys, welcome back to the channel. So you guys asked for it. I am going to be reviewing the Nike Metcon Sport today. Honestly, was very surprised when I saw that these were coming out just because I, I had no expectations of there being new Metcons. And when I saw them, as you guys know, as I said in the last video, I am usually not the biggest fan of shoes that don't have any laces. So when I first saw them, I was like, yeah, I'm probably not gonna get those. But because so many of you guys asked me to do a review of them, I picked them up. And here's the review. So the first thing I want to go over is just the looks of the shoe. Obviously, this is going to be very subjective. I'm going to be honest and say I'm not the biggest fan of, I just am not the biggest fan of shoes without laces. So for me, I am not the biggest fan of how these look. But so going into what is on the shoe. So first thing you're going to notice is you have this strap right here. That is how you're going to, going to be locking down your foot. Honestly, I think most people, the strap is almost there for looks because for me, I don't really like the strap. It does not need to be there. I, again, I've talked about it before. I have a pretty wide foot and I also have a pretty, I wouldn't say I have the highest arches, but I feel like my foot's pretty, there's a lot of depth to it, right? So my foot is pretty snug in this shoe. Next thing you're gonna notice is it has this like neoprene almost sleeve that you're going to be sliding your foot into. I'm actually pretty happy. I think these are a little bit easier to get your foot into than the Metcon Freeze are. And the mesh that they use around the shoe seems pretty thick. It definitely seems pretty durable. And then they also added some synthetic skins around the toe area, like where you're gonna be doing toes to bar and also around the heel. Um, I'm assuming that is supposed to help with durability. And as far as the outsole goes, it is pretty much just one material it is a very thick rubber. Um, these are definitely not going to be bending as much as the Metcon Freeze. Uh, they're, they're not as comfortable to run in as the Metcon Freeze, but they are more comfortable to run in than your standard Metcon. The outsole is actually a very aggressive pattern and it's, it's actually very sticky. So it's actually really nice to lift in these shoes. It is very like doing box jumps, anything like that. You are going to feel safe and stable in these shoes. One of the features I really do like about this shoe is the outsole, if you can see it right there. It is flared out a little bit by the toes. This helps lifting and makes you feel very stable in these shoes. Another thing to mention is the shoes also do have a drop-in midsole, so very similar to the Metcon 4s, as you can see right here. And it does have this little like heel cup almost, which what they're saying is it's supposed to help with lateral stability. So you're supposed to, you do feel pretty stable in these shoes. And another thing personally for me that I am very happy about is they do have the loop at the front of the shoe and the loop at the back of the shoe. So this shoe is very easy to get on. So now onto my opinions of the shoes. The first thing I want to talk about is what I like about the shoes. So the things that I really like about these shoes is how stable you feel in these. And I have to say that that was a pleasant surprise because when I saw these, I honestly thought they would be like more, almost like a toned down version of the Metcon Freeze because they are cheaper. And that's what, that's another thing that I really like is the price point, a hundred dollars. And I truly don't think you are getting a cheaper shoe. I truly feel that this is a very, very, very solid shoe. Another like that I have is the fact that you do just slide your foot in and they are pretty easy to get on. Also, I really do like the drop in midsole. Normally I'm not a huge fan of them, but I like that this has that little cup around your ankle and your heel because it really does make you feel pretty stable. Honestly, this is, I actually think this shoe feels more stable than the traditional Metcon. And honestly, for me, that's saying a lot because normally I feel like Metcons are almost one of the most, if not the most stable CrossFit shoe. So the fact that this Metcon Sport is arguably more stable than that, or at least as stable as that, is pretty awesome because it's about 30 bucks cheaper than that shoe is. And then moving on to the dislikes, the first thing is honestly, I'm not the hugest fan of just how they look and the style. Again, that's subjective, but I am not the biggest fan of, of how they look. And the second thing, I know I said that it was a like, but it's also kind of a dislike is the fact that it is the, you know, one piece construction, slide your foot in, is that if you do have higher arches or you're someone that your foot is just a little bit thicker, uh, these might not be the best shoes for you. Because for me, I like to wear my Versa lifts, which are little heel inserts that go inside your shoe. And when I wore those today with these, it was just, uh, my foot was pressed against the top of the shoe here really, really bad, and that was not super comfortable. Again, I understand that that's me adding something to the shoe, but when I do it in like Nano 8s or even the other the other Metcons, it doesn't, it's not too big of an issue. When I wear them without that, they're fine, but again, if you do have really high arches, these shoes might not work for you. And that's honestly it for the uh, the dislikes, so I am definitely a fan of these. Would I recommend the Metcon Sport? 
absolutely, I would say give these a shot. If you want or looking for like a budget shoe, these are going to be one of the cheapest options that you can find, at least retail wise, for any sort of CrossFit shoe. And what I think is really cool about these is they don't feel like a budget shoe. A lot of times like Reebok or even Nike will have shoes that aren't maybe Metcons or they're not their nano line, but they'll be like the Speed TRs, which are great shoes for sure. But they definitely feel just a little bit cheaper than the nanos, right? That's Reebok. And then with the uh, with Nike, they have the, the tr the TR8s or whatever, those are like training shoes that aren't Metcons, but they just definitely feel cheaper than Metcons do. These are $30 cheaper than their flagship model, but they feel just as stable and just as high quality as any of the shoes that they produce. And then if you are somebody that is a fan of the one piece construction kind of sock like shoe, then I think you would really, really like these. I understand that some people they don't like laces. I, I don't really know why that is, but I understand, you know, everybody's different. So you might really, really like these. And then if you're not even somebody that does CrossFit and you just lift, even if you do like powerlifting movements or like all you're doing is just going to a regular gym and lifting, these are an absolutely awesome, awesome choice. Because again, like I said, super stable. They have this little lip here that is just really, really awesome when you are deadlifting or when you're really doing anything, even like Olympic lifts, you feel really stable. Like I was doing some snatches in these and I felt really stable doing them and like that's that says a lot about a shoe especially the fact that it's only a hundred dollars and then again if you are somebody that has a wider foot or higher arches these might not be for you i'm just keeping it real so again i would always recommend to you know try and get into a store and try them on but if you're somebody that has maybe like a narrower foot or anything like that I don't think you'll have an issue with these. Also, I do wanna mention, there is a good amount of room for your toes and stuff like that in the toe box. So it's not like it's squishing your foot right there. It's just the uh, the base of your foot or the top of your foot is going to be pressed up against the midfoot material here at the top. But there you guys go. That is my review of the Nike Metcon Sports. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comment section or if you want me to maybe do a review uh, comparing these to the new Metcon Freeze. I think that would be a good idea. I don't know. Just let me know. But again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Pew, 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 pew.